Welcome to Goalie's PIP Academy. Hey there, future inventors and energy explorers. Have you ever seen a giant windmill spinning its blades high up in the sky and thought, how does that work? Well, today we're diving into the amazing world of windmills. Get ready because we're about to find out how windmills take invisible wind and turn it into power. Yes, wind power. It's like magic, but better because it's science. So what is a windmill? A windmill is a big machine with giant blades that catch the wind. When the wind blows, the blades spin around and around, kind of like a pinwheel you hold on a windy day. But instead of just looking cool, a windmill uses that spinning motion to create energy. Isn't that incredible? Now let's break it down step by step. Windmills have three main parts. First, there are the blades, the big long arms that spin when the wind blows. Second, there's the tower, which holds the blades up high in the air to catch more wind. Finally, there's the generator, the super smart part of the windmill that turns the spinning motion into electricity. Here's how it works. When the wind blows, it pushes the blades and makes them spin. That spinning motion travels down a shaft inside the windmill to the generator. The generator then converts the movement into electricity, which powers homes, schools. How cool is that? Quiz time. What part of the windmill catches the wind? A, the generator. B, the blades. C, the tower. D, the door. Take a moment to think. Hey, you're watching Goalie's Pip Academy, where we teach about science, geography, history, everything about the whole world. If you want to watch these classes with no ads, no distractions, go to getgoalie.com. Got your answer? If you said, bead the blades, then well done. That's right. Now here's where things get even more exciting. Did you know windmills aren't just a new invention? They've been around for thousands of years. Long ago, people used windmills to pump water and grind grains into flour. That's why they're called windmills, because they were first used for milling. And guess what? Today's windmills, which we call wind turbines, are massive. Some are as tall as a 30-story building. That's like stacking 10 elephants on top of each other. Another cool fact, Wind power is one of the cleanest ways to make electricity. Unlike burning coal or oil, which can pollute the air, windmills use a natural and renewable energy source, wind. That means no pollution and no running out. Quiz time, true or false? Windmills are a source of clean energy. A, true B, false. What do you think? Got it? If you said A, True, you're 100% correct. Windmills are one of the cleanest ways to make energy and help protect our planet. Okay, let's recap. Windmills, or wind turbines, use their blades to catch the wind, spin a generator, and create electricity. They've been helping humans for thousands of years, and now they're one of the best ways to power the future. So here's your challenge. The next time you see a windmill, tell someone how it works. You'll be the smartest energy expert in the room. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to learn more fun and exciting stuff. And don't forget to check out our other playlists. My mind is blown. Where can I learn more about these videos? Oh yeah, getgoalie.com. There's no ads, there's no junk, just cool stuff for kids and a dedicated tablet. Check it out getgoalie.com.